said that after I bust a bitch ass, I made her wipe the stuff out of a box with a sock. And you in a video with a sock all over your face. Would you wish you to wipe that stuff out of a box and put it? Salute the monster Mo, man. Mo be on point, bro. I didn't pay attention, bro. Let me find out you be snowballing. Let me find out you be snowballing her song. Snowballing. And what's wrong with you, bro? It's your Muslim brother disrespecting his family, all type of stuff. You gonna get to clean a box that contain my children. <laughs> you. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Leave this nah. nigga alone. Leave this alone. Socks sniffing ass, nigga. Yo, leave it out the low, man. This is karma, nigga. You you a sock sniffing ass nigga, right? But you wanna be a <laughs> Yo Zip, leave them socks alone, man. You, you, this boy is very almond tasting nigga. <laughs> yeah, you wanna be an almond tasting nigga. <laughs> Imagine if you would have said it was a a a a, a piece of Fruit or something that oh man. I swear. I'm saying this. Fucking you are nasty. Yes. You are a nasty man. God's word. You one of the men in this world that know what it's like. To let the party happen in your face. Yeah. Yeah, you know what that's like. A song camera with the Jerry Curl, fat light skin joint from Uptown. Uptown. Yellow bone. Not a red bone. Yellow bone. Fuck with Ben Bottom? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't feel no soft for this nigga. Keep telling you that this nigga mother. Yeah, you keep on shooting, keep on shooting. Go find something safe to do, my nigga. Nigga was smelling the sock like you gotta keep in mind. We don't care what sock it was. We know what the sock represents. The sock represents the rag used to clean a box that contained my children. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Your your mom's was about the same old age as Ben Bottom? Huh? Was it any stories about that nigga getting next to your mom's before? Let me find out she told you how good that Wee Wee was and you just had to try it. Hmm. I can't even give no commentary. You know what I'm saying? And Zips, I gotta stop talking so much over the commentary, so I'm trying to talk less, but this is just hard not to talk about, man. Let me find out she told you how that wee wee was and you just had to try it. <laughs> how many maggots, nigga, do you think that body produced, man? That calf probably ate pork a whole life and all that, nigga. Yeah, when that pig coming up out of that box. Man, that's I think he referring to his dead mother because um Damn, she never attacked Zip family, man. Uh, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't like to see none of this right here, but Oswald. Probably had them take worms all in a leg and all that, nigga. Mm. Big fat. It ain't matter because he used to curse his mother out on the line anyway, call her all type of bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? He'd get drunk and, and be like, fuck my mother, my mother never loved me. She let all this happen to me. I mean, some people might say that he got drunk and, you know, let it all out. But again, we Muslim, you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be getting drunk and letting it all out. And on top of that, you disrespecting his umi. You disrespecting his mother. You know what it says about the mothers in Islam? That heaven lies at the foot of your mother. You know what I'm saying? Heaven lies at the foot of your mother. Now we come up on the you know, uh, your mother jokes and stuff like that. That's cool. But in Islam, Muslims know that attacking mothers is a no-no. You attack everybody else, talk shit about everybody else. You want to get crazy and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But we also believe in an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. 
and stuff like that. Not to say that that what Zip is doing in return is reflective of an eye for eye, two for two, you know. But it doesn't say that thou shalt not clap back once you disrespect my mother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And heaven lies at the foot of my mother. So if I want to go to heaven, I got to disrespect you back, nigga. Veins popping out. You remember that? You know when you used to see them legs and you see them big. Blue veins look like a snake. You know, girl legs, how Sean Campbell, huh? You see it on your old legs, don't you? Because when they play with my mother, this is how I do too. They call it Virgo's veins or whatever. What they call some shit like that. I ain't no doctor. I ain't no doctor. Damn, man. And when mothers die, you can't say sorry, man. Allegedly. Asking for a friend. That's why when you disrespect a nigga mother that don't gotta say sorry to mother to his mother. Some 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 of us was good children to our mothers and loved our mothers dearly and would never get on no internet and, sit and call our mothers all type of bitch and air out their dirty laundry. You gotta understand when you open up the doors for that, somebody else disrespects your mother. Understand it's your fault. Especially when you're attacking somebody's mother, a Muslim at that. You know what I'm saying? Again, I ain't saying Zip is the perfect Muslim. But he's definitely a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? You know, you take the gloves off for them other cats, man. And then and then when somebody beating you up all up on the internet, man, you find something safer to do. It's beside, I mean, talking shit ain't your department, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking shit is my department. I, you know, I like all this shit. It is what it is. But you, Malcolm X, like you said, you're a prophet. Disrespect. Stop off. You know, you would never... Matter of fact, you don't know what, what would have happened up north. You've never been in those spots. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Up north, up north, you would have had to get dealt with. Don't you put me on YouTube. Mm. And yo, it's Sean Campbell. Go wash your face. Since you was imagining. Facts. Definitely gotta wash your face. You gotta make woodoo. Matter of fact, you gotta make goosu. I... Stuff on. You gotta make three goosus in a row. You feel me? And it ain't Ramadan or Juma. On that rack, on that sock. You started putting it all on your face and all that. Imagine the stuff stayed there. And now you gotta wash it off your face, man. Go wash your face, man. Make you did bad, man. Did bad. You did bad, bro. I don't even think you could make goose oil. I don't think there's no purification that could clean that sort of mess. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mind y'all, this wouldn't even be an issue if your man wasn't running his mouth like the rest of these niggas running their mouth. And then when they get this guard's work, all of a sudden they got a, they got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Let me explain something. Everybody that's laughing ain't laughing what you play up. Some people's looking at you and they laughing and they waiting for the car to crash, my dude. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't going to advise you. You know what I'm saying? Go find something safe to do. You want to know why? Because they enjoy watching you go down. They enjoy watching you go down. And you can't say they fake friends. They're just friends that's around and watch what you do. You know what I'm saying? And just waiting for you to fall. You dig? That's just not a good, that's just not a good, uh, you know what, nigga like me, that don't go good on my, you know what I'm saying? With my complexion and all that, you know what I'm saying? Stop disrespecting niggas' mothers and all that. It's your mother, you got, you know what I'm saying, a sock and all that, trying to impress a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Why you drunk and wild, you know what I'm saying? You want to impress a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Go put a kufi on and live under that shit, you know what I mean? Under the banner of, of Islam. It seemed like on one hand, these niggas want to be Malcolm X. On the other hand, these niggas want to be gangsters and disrespecting niggas and shit talkers and can't take none of that mud when it come back to you. When you throw mud, when you, you know when they say shit hit the fan? Imagine if you shit and throw it at a fan, a high power fan, where is it going to go? It's coming right back at you. You understand what I'm saying? Mac, me, true story. Those stories ain't true. This one is salute zip. You know what I'm saying? Salute my dudes that I rock with. You know what I mean? Out here trying to do the guards work without being bothered and shit like that. Why every time y'all see something on its way up, y'all trying to pull it down? And it's sad, man. It's sad when you when you when you a Muslim and your and your number one clientele is attacking Muslims, bro. You feel me? Straight up. 
And as a Muslim, we ain't never supposed to say we a prophet or nothing like that because we know the most sacred prophet is the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All right, we pray for him before we pray for our own self. You know what I mean? What I believe in, you know what I'm saying? And the prophet's family. So see, it wasn't just about the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his, his lineage, the whole lineage. You know what I'm saying? That's how sacred he is to us. All right, I'm up now.